Welcome back, everybody, to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I love that they're sleeping. Oh, no. <laughs> I love that they're asleep every time I start. Uh, wait just a moment! Uh, I guess we're getting started pretty fast. You got Power Smash. Hammer a single enemy using lots of attack power. Mario, it's scary. To t it's uh, scary out there. Take this with you. This is all starting so fast, and I'm so disorganized. You have to give me a second to collect myself. It's called a badge, and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing the effects of will, knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Oh my goodness, this is just not going so well. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? No, I can figure it out, man. Are you absolutely sure? There, this is the last time I'll ask. Do you want practice? No, I can figure out the badges. You'll need flower points. Yeah, that was in the original. I got this. Uh, well, here's hoping you find that pipe to Petal Meadows. Alright. Um, now that I blew off practice, let's see if I can figure it out. Alright, so badges is to the right. All badges. Equip. BP. One point needed. I have three. Good. That was not that hard. I <laughs> didn't need a whole tutorial. Oh, wait, there was something I wanted to look at. Um, what was it? Is, can you look at the map? The map! Okay, so Rogueport is right here in the the center. Rogueport sewers, Rogueport, we want to go to Petal Meadows. He said look underground, because there's going to be a pipe. And I am a, a bit of a video game player. Um, so the thing that I will say stands out to me immediately is down here in these pipes, there was a new path that unlocked for us. We went there to go to the Thousand Year Door, but this guy was here, and we just got the paper airplane curse, because before I came here- Whoa, sir! Uh, ha! Um, before when we came this way, we couldn't go any further because there was a wall over there. So it's striking me that hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, the game is kind of like, hey, this is the way that you're going to want to go. And I'm okay with that. Six more star points. Look at us moving on up in the world. So we press Y. And we go left to right, left to right. Okay. Got him! Ooh. Treasure up there, can't get to it. Boat. I'm guessing at some point we're going to turn into a boat. But I can't do that yet. Hello? That thing's kind of soggy. <laughs> uh, hey, Goombella, can you tell me about this? Hmm... It seems to be almost inviting us to do something, doesn't it? But what? Gumbella. I think it wants you to touch the tip. Just the tip. We're, ju we're just gonna... We're just gonna jump. You could jump on it, but you totally ruin your shoes, so I just hammer it. Can I jump on it? Ooh. Boop, boop! Ouch, that hurt! Um... That might not have been the best idea I ever had. Um. Oh, just woke me up and whack someone's tootsies like that. Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. Would you look at that? With some saucy mustache guy. Ooh, saucy. I've never been described as saucy before. Blah, 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 blah. He's in a world of hurt. Um. Blah, 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 blah. I'll give him a taste of the botanical trapper. Uh, hey Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told you, right? You can press Y to change your attack order. If your HP drops, you can also press Y to put me in the front. Can't flee this fight. We've got an audience. Um, I feel like I cannot help but feel like this is our fault because I feel like we provoked this fight. 
Uh, that's a blooper, and a really super humongous one too! Ew, it's all slimy! I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. Uh, G-R-O-S-S, -S, gross! Uh, max HP 12, attack is 1, defense is 0, attacks with tentacles, and ink! Once you damage both its tentacles, it will fall down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax, and house on that slimy, nasty blooper. Girl, you don't even know. I am here. Can I... Can I power smash? Let's take one out. Ooh, ooh, oh, did you see all that style? Oh, sorry, Goomba. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Um, alright, let's get the other guy to- Oh, Goombella, you gotta- you gotta work with me, girl. This is how it's done. Take notes, lass. That's how it's done! Now you go. One, two, good girl! <laughs> Talking to her like she's a dog. Um, power smash, let's- let's power the smash out of this guy. Oh, look at all those styles! Um, Goombella, boom, boom. Does she have a stylish? If she does, I can't seem to do it. I'm, I'm, like, I'm trying to hit the A buttons at, like, different times, but I, I don't think I've noticed any style from her, ever. And that could just be a thing. Um, oh, I can't do Power Smash anymore. Shoot. Alright, well, we did pretty good. Good, good. Good, good. Oh, uh, oh, we've been inked. Alright, girl, you got this. Oh, no, you don't. Just kidding. Um, I'm not as good with Goombella. I feel like I'm not struggling with Mario. I don't know, maybe I am? Whoa, was that 20 star points? Look at us go. Alright, that went pretty well, I feel. Blue, blue. Oh, but I also can't help but feel, like, a little bit bad, like, I feel like we definitely- Oh, girl? Uh, uh, Welcome back! Are you okay, Lass? Okay, well, I- Hello? Ma'am! You gotta, like, jump with me. Whoa, sorry about the blip there. But it looks like Miss Goombella and I have reached the end of the line, so let's go down this pipe. Uh, and why don't I tell you a little bit more about myself? Um, so I actually work at an aquarium in Niagara Falls, and hang on. Hang on, something's happening. Uh, chapter one. Wait, that whole thing was the prologue? Oh my god, yikes. Uh, castle and dragon. All right, well, the castle's where we want to go, and I'm getting a hunch that we might run into a dragon. Petal Meadows. Oh, we've made it! Um, it looks really nice here. It's very green. <laughs> um, and pretty luxurious, actually. Uh, taking a look around, Boombella. Well, here we are! The Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario, the start of our adventure! This is completely awesome! Ain't it? Um, so we are here. Let's save. After all the work I've clearly done. Um, but anyways, as I was trying to save before I was cut off, I work at an aquarium in Niagara Falls at... Hang on! Again! Uh... I think this might be the dragon. Whoa, what was that? Oh, is that a... Wow, Mario, look! I'm looking. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, look at it. It's orange. Totally incredible. I've never seen anything that humongous before. Uh, oh, have you? <laughs> well, ma'am, <laughs> it, lo it looks kind of scary too. Weird. Professor Frankly said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy. We just started and already there's intrigue. Come on, Mario. Let's go. Uh, you are- wow, so you are just all about the humongous dragon. I don't know, when I see a humongous dragon, I might be like, eh, let's stay away. But you know what, I can admire 
your sense of adventure. You are a strong, independent woman, and I have a lot that I could learn from you. Oh, look, we got a mushroom. Feel good mushroom, repeat, blah, 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 restores 5 HP. Um. Now, what was I talking about? <laughs> uh, my job, if I can. I worked at the aquarium in Niagara Falls. I worked there during summers, and oh, that was yikes. And I am an educator there who specializes in their animal ambassador outreach program, and I work very closely with the marine invertebrate animals. So beating the crap out of that cephalopod in the bowels of Rogueport Sewer um, was something that I definitely have mixed feelings about. I do view it kind of as an innocent animal, and I feel like we definitely uh, just kind of approached its territory, touched it, which you should not do with marine animals, and uh, then proceeded to uh, kind of like just hammer the heck out of it. And I think that was kind of mean. Uh, so it goes against everything that I believe in as I try to spread the message of conservation and protecting biodiversity. I'm also doing a pretty bad job at my action commands, so maybe I shouldn't be talking while I try to fight. But I did want to give you the opportunity to understand a little bit more about your true science nerd that you're watching play this game. Um, the aquarium has been one of the coolest jobs that I've ever worked in my life. And so it's one that I wish I could do full-time and year-round. Ugh, oh, Gumbella, I need your help here. But it doesn't pay enough money to do year-round. So I actually had to get a job during the rest of the year. Um, so I could only work at the aquariums as summers. And so that kind of led to my exploration of other job opportunities that started the stress-induced life that I had been living that led me here to playing this game and escaping reality. Uh, uh, what was that? I didn't even look. Close call? I gotta be paying more attention. Close call badge. When Mario's in danger, cause enemies to sometimes miss. Oh, that sounds like it could be kind of useful. Let's equip it. I mean, we have nothing else to take anyways. Um, here's a pipe. Shall I, shall I kill you first? I'm gonna try and be good about fighting enemies, because I know I need to, to level up in the game. Oh, styling! Uh, I am good at my style at points, I think. And I'm sad to that. And then we can just hammer this guy. So these Goombas, they seem like real easy to just kind of rack up some extra star points. So I see no harm in fighting them. And especially at 90 star points, I believe we're close to our first level up in the game. And I'm kind of excited for that. I do enjoy building myself up in RPGs. Um, so I want to go down here. And this takes me over here. Can I? Can I? Hello? Oh, oh, can I? Oh, we, come on. Can I? Can I? Oh, there's coins. Whoa, sorry again, you guys. Um, so where I live, there was actually a real bad snowstorm. Uh, and there are people who are plowing outside, and it gets a little bit loud at certain times. And that's why all of these weird blips are coming from. Uh, basically, sometimes it just gets a little bit too noisy for me to do my recording as much as I would love to be doing it. And so I get a little bit tangled up. Um, but nothing too crazy is happening anyways. I'm just kind of fighting monsters. Monsters and Goombas. Uh, Goombella, this is your chance to shine. Let's take this guy out. Good, she's performing well. Ugh! That could have gone better. Um, but we're just cruising along here. And I'm feeling good. I'm practicing my stylish points. Oh, oh, oh! I think we actually leveled up. 13 star points, new level! Level up! Oh, this is exciting! Look at how happy my audience of like 12 people! <laughs> Select one of the following to upgrade. Um, HP, increase your max HP by 5. Great if you lack confidence. Increase max FP by 5. Great if you use lots of moves. Increase max BP by 3. Great if you like to use badges. Alright, so I do need to strategize. I want to build up my character. Um, I feel like I'm not lacking in confidence right now. I feel like health-wise, we're doing kind of okay. Um, I haven't had to use any mushrooms, and we don't really have a lot of badges yet. 
but I do like to use my moves. I like using that power smash, and I feel like I'm only going to get more moves in the future that require flower power. Uh, so I am feeling the flower power. I feel like we should increase that by five. But also, as a strategic method going forward, I feel like my general plan is to kind of rotate between these three. Um, I feel like, in my brain, what makes sense would be to try and keep all three of these categories relatively even with one another, to have a well-rounded character. Uh, you could let me know if that logic is totally off, and if there's one I should really be focusing on more than the other two. But I'm gonna go with Flower Power. I think that's going to be helpful to me. I like having 10, I like using my power smash, and I think that'll just play together. There's something behind here, I think. Hello? It's a pipe! Oh, uh, I thought I found something special, but you know what? I think I needed to find this, because you couldn't even go any further. Um, but yeah, so I did have to find new work and leave the aquarium. And so over the summer, I went on a multitude of job applications, which required a lot of traveling, which was in and of itself something I was not the biggest fan of. Ooh, look, we built a bridge. That looks kind of cool. Is there anything more this way? We're in the background. Can I go to the castle this way? Um, here's a shiny crystal. You got a star piece, a lovely piece of a star. Okay. Can I go further? No. No, I cannot. Um, so, I was filling out job applications towards the end of the summer, and I got offered a couple of interviews, but they were not in Buffalo, where I live. So I actually had to drive. Um, one of the jobs was out in Rochester, which is about an hour and ten minutes away from where I live. And the other job was in New Jersey, which was like six hours away from where I lived. Um, and that job was actually at my old college. They wanted me to be their coordinator of STEM education. Uh, STEM student success, actually. So, like, they wanted me to... Hang on, what was that? Items, 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 <laughs> items. Mystery! Who knows what this does? Take a chance and find out. Um, got a fire flower. And so they wanted me to basically be, like, their university's school tutor for the students. Ooh, Petalburg. We've reached a village. Uh, welcome, travelers! Hmm? Where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg! Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had any visitors here. Uh, we're kind of remote. Yuppity! Once that dragon hooktail was, was blah, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area, well, it didn't help tourism, to put it that way. People just kind of stopped visiting. Dragon hooktail? That must have been the huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. So anyway, green boots. Have you ever heard of these things called the crystal stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Goombella, you, you can't just be telling everybody our business, all right? We don't know if we can trust this Green Boots guy. Also, it was a little bit rude to refer to him as Green Boots. I'm sure that he has a name. Uh, this lady, she is sassy, and she hasn't got time for anybody's baloney. Um, she's also a bit of a size queen, I'm learning, which is ironic because she is herself quite, uh, tiny. <laughs> uh, crystal stars, you say? Hmm, nope, can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You might want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Like, really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are, uh, like, really smart. Okay. Here's a stereotype I disagree with. <laughs> so, um, this game... <laughs> I, I like the low-key shade that this game is throwing at old people. <laughs> and just being like, oh, you are old as hell, man. <laughs> but at the same time... The notion that being older as an individual makes you more intelligent is one that has always grinded my gears. And it's just... I went to school, uh, my degree is in neuroscience, and so I'm like a little bit of a snob when it comes to people who are very opinionated on science issues that have no understanding in science or no background in science. And this sentiment of old people and wisdom 
is one that I've just found in my personal life to not be the most accurate in the world. I've met a lot of incredibly old people that have incredibly old frames of views on a lot of issues. And I'm just saying, a lot of the older people I've experienced in my life, from my own grandparents uh, to other elders, have been fairly closed-minded. And this is not me trying to speak generically on all old people, because I know that there are plenty of old people that do have incredible wisdom and experience, and um, not to shade any of my professors for being old, but like my professors of biology and genetics um, and neuroscience are all some of the smartest humans I've ever met in my life. Um, but I've never been a fan of that notion of like, your elders are automatically so much more intelligent and so much more wise. I think individual people are intelligent and wise, not just old people in general. Rant over. Let's listen to what Green Boots has to say. Anyway, I think the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. A pink house? That sounds totally hideous. But I guess it should be easy to find. Wow, Goombella! You are just an endless cup of tea to be spilled. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Um, Alright, so we want to find the pink house that Goombella thinks is ugly. Also, girl, I don't know if you know this, but you're pink! Um, so we've got what looks like an inn, because I see the bed. Hello, you look kind of cute. This good sir is an inn. Rooms are five coins per night. Would you care to stay? No! I don't want you to have my money! What is this? What's down here? Hello! Whoa, look at your face. Top of the morning, tis I, Bubulber. I am as happy as can be. Why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. Well, that's fantastic. I'm so happy that you're happy. Hello, child! Uh, hey, what's up? I gotta say, I'm really hooked on playing GBA games lately. There's this one game that just absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. Oh, Nintendo. How dated this is. But at the same time, I admire your fourth wall breaking to shamelessly advertise another product of yours. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks! Cool. Is this your dad? Uh, you saw a hook tail on your way here. Are you sure? Big dragon? Tail like a hook? Wow, you're super duper lucky it didn't see you. I'm not even kidding with you. If it had seen you, I'm sure it would have gobbled you up like an after-dinner mint. It must have been stuffed or thought you looked gross. At any rate, you were lucky. Wow, so this game, what I'm learning, is that it is just one massive collection of insulting people. Now, one character who I'm super excited to talk to is this man who came straight from, uh, the disco. <laughs> ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. It is a beautiful day, no? No, 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 no. Not you, Monsieur Moustache. I am speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. What you say, my pretty? Abandon this dullard and come away with moi. <laughs> Are you kidding? Uh, ew. Nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, bozo the dork. Goombella! <laughs> this woman is my favorite character. Oh, a sacre bleu. Such brutal honesty. Such a sharp tongue. Well, I retreat for now. If you change your mind, Sherry, come find me. I also can't do French accents, you guys. I never took French in school. I don't even know how to pronounce these words. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. Okay, Goom wait, while we're here, Goombella, can you tell me about him? Ew! <laughs> What's with this guy, huh? It grosses me out just being near this weirdo. Alright, fine, whatever, his name is Dupree. He's this icky guy who tries to sweet talk everybody. There, no more. You know what, this guy actually reminds me like a lot of my uh, first dates in the, <laughs> in the gay bars. A um, lot of older men that were uh, characters themselves, that were... Very into me, to be fair. Ha! Huh. I'm General Wright! I'm a bomb And I have lost my hopes and dreams. Oh, I'm sorry. I live in solitude. Always, I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. Oh, that was... That was cur Can you tell me about him, Goombella? That's General White, the bomb I guess white bombs are pretty rare. He has a cool mustache, too. 
He might even give you, uh, he might even give your lip fuzz a run for- Oh! It's my mustache. Uh, the, the hair puns, they just fly right over my head, because I'm always not thinking that I have a mustache. Because me, in real life, I cannot grow facial hair. It's tragic, but it just doesn't exist. Whoa, sir, why do you have all of these pictures of Princess Peach? That's like one, that's like five. That's too many. Hello. Uh, hey, uh, well, come on in, I guess. Doors open. <laughs> I love that he's just totally okay, that we just completely barged into his home. Oh, Hooktail? It lives at the top of that old castle beyond this hummock. Have you heard the rumors? Some say lots of treasure is hidden in that castle. Scores of people have gone in search of it, but not a one is returned. So what do you think? You're getting scared, huh? Uh, I am, but not of the dragon. I'm more scared about why you have all of these pictures of Peach. Goombella, can you tell me about him? <laughs> this guy's apparently a total diehard Peach fan. He even collects Peach merchandise. He has posters and pictures up everywhere. Everywhere. Boy, get a life, know what I mean? Hey, Mario, don't tell me you have a secret collection of plush Peach dolls, too. Girl, that is none of your business. I need you to leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, uh, I need a friend like this. <laughs> like, someone who can just give me all of the sass about everybody. What is wrong with you? Why do you look like you've just seen a ghost? Are you okay? Oh, hello! Is this your first time visiting one of our wonderful shops? Then let me give you the explanation of shop points. I give all first-time customers. Customers earn one shop point for each item they buy. As you build up your points, you earn various prizes, including rare items. The prizes are explained inside each individual store. And that's it! Need to hear it again? No. Excellent! You're now free to shop, sell, or store items as you please. Ooh, store! How many items can we hold? I don't know. Do I want anything? I've got plenty of fire flowers. Do I want a power block? Attacks all ground-bound enemies? Why not? I love to spend money. Let's spend money. That might come in handy. A courage shell gives your partner courage to boost his or her defense. That sounds lame. Mr. Mr. Softener. Softens up enemies for a bit of decreasing their dis defense. That sounds weird. I'm gonna skip it. <laughs> Honey syrup, sweet snack restores flower power. Yes! Give me this! I'm gonna take two of these if you don't mind. Thank you, sir. Alright. Good. Let's save. Um, and how am I on time, actually? Alright, I think this is where we are definitely going to have to cut it. But in the next one, I'm going to continue looking for the pink house to find the mayor, who can hopefully give us information about the crystal star. Cool? Cool. And maybe I'll talk to this guy some more. But maybe not. Goombello really doesn't like him. Okay, bye guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Please subscribe, please share this video, please leave any comments. Thank you.